The arrest of a suspect in an attempt to commit sabotage at a railway company facility was confirmed by French Interior Minister Gérald de Monin. He noted that the style of work of saboteurs in France has the hallmarks of left-wing extremist methods. These are traditional methods of the ultra-left, and in the course of identifying those involved, some people may be linked to these movements, but I will wait until all the elements of the investigation are received. Gérald Darmani, Minister of the Interior of France, on air on France 2 TV channel. Now the French security services are paying more attention to far-left or anarchist organizations and they see a Russian trace in many acts of sabotage. It is still unknown whether the person detained in northern France is connected to the acts of sabotage that paralyzed the French railway network last Friday. Let us recall that a number of acts of sabotage were committed on the railway on the morning of July the 26th, the opening day of the Olympic Games in Paris. Due to several arson attacks and other interference in the railway, the operational three high-speed train lines was seriously disrupted. By Monday, the authorities reported the restoration of traffic in all directions. It is natural that, first of all, as practice shows, the Russians are most interested in countering the supply of weapons to Ukraine. Therefore, they are primarily interested in the railway infrastructure, the infrastructure of sea transportation, aviation, within the framework of which they again use cyber attacks. This is also a large military infrastructure, and we remember the sabotage at military enterprises in Germany. And we simply should not forget that the Russians have extensive experience in terrorism in the literal sense of this word, that is, with the implementation of mass terrorist attacks. To strengthen security in the high speed train network with a length of 28,000 kilometers, 50 drones, 250 railway security agents, and a thousand repairmen were deployed. The Minister of Internal Affairs notes the security of the Olympic Games is provided by 45,000 police officers, about 10,000 military personnel, as well as special services. However, it is not limited to sabotage on the railway. A letter with powder was sent to the sorting center to the French Minister of the interior, which according to preliminary studies contained plague pathogens. This package addressed to Gerald de Morning contained a racial insult and a black powder that was the subject of an initial test by a nuclear, radiological, biological, chemical and explosive NRBCE unit of the police. And the results are more than disconcerting. Experts discovered a slight positivity to the plague in this intriguing powder. Le Figaro publication writes. Late on Monday, it became known about a series of sabotage attacks on telecommunications facilities in different regions of France. Cable telephone lines were damaged. In fact, Russia has launched a hybrid aggression against NATO countries. The issue is not a disruption. The issue is to destabilize the situation, to stir up public tensions. And naturally, Russia is the main enemy of order in Europe. I hope Europeans understand this. French President Emmanuel Macron spoke about a possibility of terrorist attacks during the Olympic Games back in April 2024. He said that he had no doubt that Russia would try to disrupt the Olympics. In this regard, the French security services rejected more than 4,000 applications for accreditation for the 2024 Olympics in Paris, in particular Russians and Belarusians, due to fears of espionage and cyber attacks. Reported by Diana Kolasnik, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.